Good morning. It's 926 on the East Coast, 626 on the West Coast. So it's time for a little bit of coffee crossing. This morning I did my Uber thing as I usually do. Did pretty good. Although I did have a rather unusual experience at one point. I had a case of deja vu. I picked up this old lady from her house. And I had to take her to a dialysis appointment. Which isn't unusual considering the hours I drive. But then... As soon as I drop her off, I get another call. To go back to her address. I go back out there... And I pick up this lady's son and take him to a dialysis appointment. I know, kind of weird, huh? But it's not the first time that kind of thing has happened to me. So. When last we left our... When last we left our hero. We were working on the customization course I still need to collect the wood for the custom cab for the cabinet in order to customize it so let's get back to fog harbor and start going and start collecting the wood in order to get everything ready And here we are. And I don't think Mabel's going to be there this morning. Oh, hello! Hello, Talia. Or Latalia. Welcome to the... Welcome aboard. Welcome to Coffee Crossing. This is day 13. I started over at the very beginning of opening this stream. Hello! We've got another follower. Hey, Tet. I remember you from, um, from Twitch. I mean, from Twitter this morning. Yes. Okay. Oh, hello, who is this new person? Hello, everyone. This is Tom Nook. It is 8.29 a.m. this happy Thursday, July 14th, 2022. Now for today's news. Fog Harbor gained a new neighbor today. Shino! Someone I have never seen before. I've never had on my island before. I understand she's a very interesting um, villager and somebody I probably want to keep around. I hope you get, I hope you give her lots of great advice for living here, about living here. That's all from me. Time for you all to get out and enjoy your day. Yes, yes. Okay, let's see what we got in the mail this morning. From Scoot. If there's one thing I know nothing about, it's having a limit to how much I can lift. It sounds kind of fun. What's it like? The way you lit the way you left that thing behind was like, whoa. Oh, by the way, here it is. Limitless Scoot. Yes, I gave him a gift, but my pockets were full, so he sent it in the mail. 
uh, Happy Home Academy. Grad congratulations to celebrate the new addition to your home. Please accept this gift from of some furniture. Best of luck and you set out on as you set out on new kitchen adventures. Okay. I think they're trying to tell me what to, what to build there. And my newest villager, Boomer! Cedar, you got a new room on your house again, huh? That's real neat. One more place to snack, right? I've sent you a gift to help you decorate or something. Snack party? Boomer. Okay. And that's everything. Let's see what we got in our gifts. A pineapple aloha shirt. Let's wear that. Ah, very appropriate. I like it. Another present. A rice cooker. Okay, and the other present. A simple kettle. Hmm. So let's go see this new room we got. It's over here. Hmm. Well, let's see. I don't see anything I can just place here. But I do have this hi-fi stereo. Let's put it over here, I think. For now. We'll just put this over here. And I'll consider what to do with this space later. Okay, we got Nook Miles. Let's see what we got. Hoard Reward. Put more furniture in your house. Okay, let's see. Got 15 things. All right. I should move the bed over. There we go. Hey, we got another follower. <laughs> coffee Princey, welcome uh to the coffee welcome to the welcome to Coffee Crossing. I think you'll enjoy it here. This looks like the perfect this sounds like the perfect stream for you because we're all about coffee and animal crossing here. I haven't officially opened the coffee bar yet, where I'm planning on chatting with the stream and everything, but we're getting that much closer to reaching affiliate. Hello! <laughs> Good to have you here. And it looks like they're working on the Able Sisters place. Now, if I remember correctly... Wait. We need to stop by the Nook Boys. Oh, hello. We got a tree. Here. Let's stop by the Nook Boys real quick. Hello. Hello. Welcome to Nook's Cranny. Okay. We will go ahead and purchase a flimsy axe. 
I'm doing well. I've had my morning coffee. And I hope you're having your morning coffee, too. I do this as a good way to help people de-stress before they start their day. Because this place is a safe place. We don't judge you on who you are or what you are. Oh. Upstairs in your castle? Hey, it's Rin Rin. Welcome back. Wow. We're getting so many pe Oops, no, we don't want another flimsy axe. Yes. You're welcome. Now we'll just run on down to... Tom's place. Ah, well, you go do that. Because that's what this stream is all about. Oh, wow. You hit 107 today. Good for you. I'm at like 48 followers now. Well, hello there, Cedar. <clears throat> Just like that, your home has another proper room. Hmm. That's another upgrade to even to an even cushier life. Which brings us to the cost of the remodel. That'll be five hundred forty-eight thousand bells. Hmm. Yes, you can use you you can have all the hugs you want, Ren Ren. You get all the hugs and head pats. I have there is no limit to them. Not in this place. Okay, one other thing I should mention. Now that you've made some big improvements on your home, I can start offering customization services. This is not about increasing the size of your home, but about changing the look of your home's exterior. Of course, the things we can change depend on the size of your home, but the customization cost is built in. That means you can change things freely without additional loans. From your roof to your mailbox. Oh! Oh, and speaking of your mailbox, not only can you change its design, you can change its location, too! Aw, thank you, Rin Rin! I'm glad you like my... I'm glad you like my, uh... My... My gift tuber rig. I'm actually going to have... My... I'm actually getting the original artist that made this to build it into a fully rigged live 2D model. She is currently working on a full body version and then she will start rigging it once I pay for the uh, pay the extra money for the rigging. Hopefully I will make um, affiliate by then and then I can actually preview my um, my new avatar. My actual live 2D avatar. Because I want to be affiliate first. Okay. Just pick up your mailbox with Y and place it where you'd like. I'll make sure your mail knows where, where to go. As always, it's been so nice doing business with you. Yes, yes. Okay. Welcome to the Nook Stop. Uh, six days in a row, get 250 bonus miles. All right. We're getting all sorts of bonus miles. We're going to... See, this is one of the reasons why I love the Animal Crossing community. Somebody actually came and dropped off 3 million during a stream. Which means... I can go ahead and 
pay off all my loans with the money he gave me. Yes! I finished paying off my home loan. And now, before we consider expanding even more, should I craft something at Tom Nook's workbench? Yes. Let's craft. Going to craft a stronger axe. We don't want a we don't want a metal one because that'll actually chop down trees. We do not want to chop down trees. Let's do it. All we want is to gather wood. All you need for that is a stone axe. I'm done for now. Okay. Oh wow, we have we have 10 people watching right now. I'm pretty sure some of them might are probably watching on Tumblr. Okay. Collecting the money from the money tree. Okay. Let's see. Nope, we do not have enough. Let's see. How much is this bag? Oh, it's only a thousand bells, so we'll put that away. And we'll actually grab a bag of 10,000 real quick. In case we come across. Oh, I don't know. A glowing spot in the middle of the ground. Let's see. Another orange tree. Chop, chop, chop. Let's see. Let's check something real quick. Recipe. For the dresser. We need 12, we've got 7, so... 6 more to go. Alright, and... No, we'll leave the peach tree. We'll leave the uh, we'll leave the exotic fruit, the unusual fruit trees around alone. Oh, hello. What am I doing? You goober pee. There we go. Look, I dug up a thousand bells. I hit pay dirt. And let's bury this 10,000 bells. And put away. Oh, you, you glitches the game. How do you glitch the game? And there's the cherry tree. How did you glitch how did you glitch your game? Chop, chop, chop. Uh hardwood, darn it. Let's see. Our pockets are getting kinda full. We need three more pieces of light wood. I mean, of regular wood. Okay, that's ten. Oh! <laughs> you were spelling bloody, but it didn't know. 
I couldn't do it, so I did. You use two zeros for bloody? Yeah. They don't like... They, Nintendo doesn't like words like bloody, especially in this game. Oh my, it's... Bloody is such a naughty word. We don't want to admit that people have liquid inside of them. People might get scared. And yes, I am being extremely facetious right now. Okay. Now then. I believe we have what we need. Yes, we have the 12 wood. So, let's go in and... Yeah, I could... I totally understand. Well, well, hello, Cedar! I must thank you for the diligent repayment of your home loan. Yes, yes. I must ask, were your payments by any chance motivated by a, a desire to a for expansion? Because if so, I have good news. I would be more than happy to extend the credit for further construction. Do please come see me if you'd like to discuss the details more, hmm? Well, right now, we need to craft something. So that we could do this workshop. Let's do it. <gasps> I made a wooden wardrobe. I'm all done for now. Now. Oh, Cedar. You've got your wooden wardrobe. I think that means it's time for you to customize it. First, Cedar, I'll give you some customization kits. Next, pull out your wooden wardrobe and try customizing it. Okay. Light white wood, cherry wood, dark wood, black, green, blue, pink. Hmm. What color should I do? Hmm. Does anybody have a suggestion what color I should go with? I'll let you guys catch up. You think I should go with the pink, huh? That's one vote for pink. Anybody else? Any other votes? Nope. Okay, we'll go with pink. I mean, I can always change it later, right? Yes, yes, masterfully done! As you've just seen, customizing items is quite easy when you have customization kits and the workbench. You can take the extras from... Today, as my gift to you, use them in your furniture customization projects. Hmm? As a graduate of my workshop, you'll be able to buy any kits you need from the shop. Now for the most now for the most part, you can customize furniture or other items you've made as DIY projects. However, some of the mass market kit furniture items sold in the shop can also withstand some customization. 
For example, you might be able to change an item's fabric or add a custom design to it. Hello! Hello, welcome, and thanks for the follow. Figuring out what you can customize and how you can customize it can be a lot of fun. And this concludes my workshop on customization. I hope you enjoy putting on a fashion show in your home using your custom wood wardrobe. Now, take a break, hmm? I do believe you've earned it. Well, while I've got you here, what would you like to talk to me about? I'm all ears. About my home. Time to talk about your home, hmm? What shall we discuss? I want to expand again. Ready to expand your home, hmm? I believe another room could give you the extra space you desire. We'd be talking about a loan of 758,000 bells. Are you interested? Yes, let's do it. Fortunately, I had a friend bring me enough money. Everything should be ready to go for you by tomorrow morning. So exciting! Exciting indeed! Okay. And we are one away from a total of 50. What is this bug? I don't remember if I've got this. Gotcha! Yes! I caught a tiger beagle beetle. I pounced first! But I can't carry anything else. Should I swap it for something? Yeah, let's swap it for some oranges. Oh. Okay. Let's swap it for this. Oh. Darn it. It's because I caught it in the it's because I caught the thing in the in the um in the town plaza I couldn't drop anything. Arr. Okay, let's empty our pockets some. Let's get rid of these oranges. Put them all in storage. Because you never know when you're going to need them again. Put the pears in storage. Um, put the den chair in storage. Put... Actually, no... We're going to set out my clay furnace. Because the clay furnace is something I can use to cook with. And once I start getting recipes to cook, I'm gonna use this as I'm gonna use this as my cooking. I'm gonna use this as my kitchen. Yeah, I noticed, and that's what made me mad. I and mean, that's what made me sad. I had to let the tiger beetle go. Darn it! I'll have to catch another one. Oh wait, there is more stuff I needed to put. More stuff I need to put away. Um, put away the rice cooker for now. Put away the kettle for now. 
and we're gonna put away the wardrobe because we're not gonna do we're not gonna put down the wardrobe until we get our upstairs our upstairs bedroom. We're in the middle of we're we're still in the middle of remodeling the house. So put away the wood. Okay. No, that I don't think that's the same thing. I think that's the boring. Yes, that's the earth boring dung beetle. I already caught one of them. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and sell it with the other with the two fossils that I have here. What do you need today? I want to sell. Of course, what exactly were you offering? Offering. I'm going to sell this... Beato? And I want to put these up on the uh, black market because I'm pretty sure Blathers would love to buy them. Okay, allow me to run the numbers a moment to run the numbers. The fact that he can actually do all of this. No. If I've got do I right now I'm selling all my duplicates. Once I have my museum up and running, when I, once I get my once I have my museum fully filled out, I might actually start what I like to call a boneyard. What I do in the boneyard is I take fossils that I find and I've identified and I lay them out in a little fenced off area. And if anybody needs a fossil, they can come over and collect it. Oh, he. Oh. Are you sure? I mean, he offers to buy them from you. He says he wishes he could buy them off. He wishes he could add them to his own private collection. Who's to say he doesn't buy them from the Nook Boys, huh? Ooh, I found a rock. All sorts of crickets and grasshoppers going running around today. Well, let's go visit with Boomer. Ah, yeah, that's a shame. Oh wow, Boomer's! Oh wow. And Boomer's working away at his at his workbench. Hey, sorry for the mess. Ain't got time to clean today. Okay, Boomer. What are you doing? I'm making me a log-mounted clock. A log wall-mounted clock. One of, the one of the bugs in the floor whispered the DIY instructions in my ear while I was sleeping last night. Yep, he's a lazy. So I gotta build it before I forgot what it even is. Check it out. Plans for a log wall-mounted clock. I can teach you if you want. Yeah, teach me. Well, leave it to me. I've got it scribbled down right here. And so just read this. Oh, 
If I can make it, then I bet you could do it in no time, human. He keeps calling me that. Okay, boomer. I wish they hadn't named him Boomer. Especially in this day and age. Sweet! I learned the recipe for a log wall mounted clock. And yes, I know he lives in the museum and doesn't come out. But we don't know we don't know what he does while we're offline. When we're not playing, we don't know what he's doing. So, let's see who our new friend here is. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah. And welcome. Uh, what should I call you, friend? Cedar! Did you say Cedar? What a happy name. My name is Leaf. I heard that my good old pal Timmy moved out here, so I thought I'd pay him a visit. Timmy told me this was a deserted island before you moved here. What a happy adventure. I bet you were up to your ear holes and weeds when you first arrived. But the island itself is a blank canvas that was that you can paint however you like with whatever paint, whatever plants you like. I hope some of the rare flower seeds, shrubs, and product and produce starts I brought will be featured in your masterpiece. Anyway, meeting you has been a true pleasure. I hope to see you again soon, Cedar. This guy is just absolutely chill. I love him to death for it. Let's see. And here is our new arrival, Shino. Ooh, she's got a fancy plate. And a real nice house. Oh wow, she is just as pretty as I was as I've heard. Hi, I just moved here. My name is Shino. You're Cedar, right? Hey, I'm deep in the middle of unpacking, but when I'm done, you should totes come over. Oh my gosh! You're going to freak out about how adorbs my place is once it's fully finished? Okay? The interesting thing about her is, yes, she is a deer visit. She is a deer villager. But not only that, she's a Hanya demon. Yes, she is an actual Oni. And I'm going to make sure she never leaves my island. She is one of the... I think she is one of those very rare occurrences where there isn't an amiibo of her. Wish there was. And then we have our last person who will be moving in tomorrow. 
Found another fossil. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. But you know, since we have leaf here today, and leaf actually pays double for weeds. Look, I dug up a fossil. Leaf pays... Leaf actually pays double for weeds. So, let's go ahead. Picking up the weeds. Picking up the weeds. We are making money. Picking up the weeds. Picking up the weeds. Picking up the weeds. We'll be making money, picking up the weeds. Now, a lot of people probably would have thought, oh, you were just being lazy, waiting here, leaving these weeds like this. Nope. I realize, I know, it, it may seem that way. But I like having a, some weeds around because they come in handy, especially when you want it, when you need to make medicine, especially after you've been stung by a freaking wasp because you forgot to grab your because you forgot to pull out your net while you were shaking trees for tree branches. Or you happen to be whacking uh, trees for wood and the wasp nest falls out. So let's pick us some weeds. This is... I know a lot of you probably think it's boring, but it's a necessary evil. Sometimes, especially when Leaf is here and you can sell these things for double what they'll buy them for at the nook, sh at the cranny. Also, some of the weeds are pretty, like dandelions. Those are really nice. And those are all the ground level weeds that we have. And over we go. And let's talk to Leaf again. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Isn't this the most perfect day to shop for flowers? I'd be happy to know what I can do for you today. Uh, let's talk weeds. Oh, Cedar. Are you interested in selling weeds? Yeah. I know how it feels to start pulling weeds and suddenly realize, wow, this could take a while. Exactly. I had a feeling. But gardening should make you happy, Cedar. Which is why I've decided to buy weeds from you at a very special high price point. And if you act now, I'll double what Places like Nook's Cranny offer, that's 20 bills per clump of weeds. It's a win-win. You get paid for all the hard work that goes into pulling weeds, and I get to spend time hanging out in Fog Harbor's pristine weed-free landscape. 
I wonder what he's doing with all these with all these weeds that we're selling him. So, can I buy your weeds? Sure you can. <coughs> I'm counting, right? You've got 99 clumps of weeds. Hmm. What should be? Hmm. Oh yes, 100, 1,980 bells. So, uh, can I buy your weeds? Okay. Thank you kindly. Can I help you with anything else? Uh, maybe later. I'm good. Until next time. Let's see. We've got... Sell clumps of weeds. And from earlier, we got... Chopping wood. Hey, Zip Zoom, you good? Let's talk. Don't forget to cool down after the workout. You don't want to overheat. Plus, it helps to build more muscle. Also, remember, stay hydrated. That is a good idea. Okay, and we've got... Talk to three villagers. Okay. Leaf is here, so we know we don't have anybody... Hey, Hammy's online. She's friends with another person I know that streams Animal Crossing on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And we got another fossil. I dug up a fossil. We got a slingshot now. Let's climb down from here. All right. Let's see what fell out of the sky. Hey, I got a headband! Uh, no. I think I prefer my denim cap. Thank you very much.
Ooh, giant clam. Let's go ahead and clean up the shells on the beach. Because he sells seashells at the Nook store. bottle message in a bottle to the lucky fool who finds this while taking a stroll on the beach and soaking up the exfoliating salty air I struck DIY gold sure I could have kept it to myself but self praise can only go so far it's time to become a DIY legend, the King of Craft, Olaf. Let's see. A steel frame wall. Let's learn. Huh, okay. Sweet. I learned the res DIY recipe for a steel frame wall. I am not sure what that is. But it sounds neat. Okay. Oops. And that looks like it's all the shells on the beach. Let's go back about looking for fossils now. And here we go. And another fossil. Let's see, how's our inventory looking? We got one, two, three, four, five fossils. Usually there's only five fossils, but sometimes when you keep missing them, you might have an extra somewhere. So... Let's take a look. I don't think we're going to find any more fossils, but it never hurts to look.
Okay. Doesn't look like we've got any down here. Looks like we're good up here, too. I think we have all of our fossils for today. We'll go ahead and turn those in. You silly owl. Ooh. Ooh. Me, as usual. Oh dear, pardon me. Good morning, Cedar. Welcome to the Fog Harbor Museum. How may I be of service? I'd like you to assess some fossils for me. Ooh, I would like to... What would you let me to assess? I'm all a flutter. I've got one. I got two. I got three, four, and five. Whoa, more than one I see. Let us take a closer look, shall we? Oh, hooray! I found something we don't yet have as part of our esteemed collection. It is magnificent indeed. You have a talent for finding the finest fo fossils. Now, I hope you'll consider donating what you found. The cultural development of Fog Harbor is a worthy endeavor indeed. In the meantime, I shall return these to you. But think on what I've said. The museum awaits. Might I help you with anything else? Well, let's go ahead and donate. Marvelous! What would you like to donate? Ooh, we got a packy tail and an ammonite. So we're donating a Pokemon, apparently. Woohoo! Several things, I see. Well, not several. Splendid! We'll gladly take these off your hands. Ah, uh, no need to pull them out. I'll handle the rest from here. Might I help you with anything else? Um, no, that'll be fine for now. Jolly good! Please, enjoy the rest of your visit. Yes, you go back to your nap. You know what? There was a place I learned about yesterday. A place I want to go visit. A place that I've heard has changed since the last update. Welcome, welcome. Cedar, welcome, welcome. What can we do for... What do you need today? I want to sell. Of course, what exactly are you offering? Offering... Um... I know. Let's 
sell all of this. Look at all the fine things you've brought today. Allow us, allow me just a moment to run the numbers. And done! I can buy that for 9,240 bells. Sound good? Sold. Thank you. Please come again. Again? We're going to go someplace I haven't been yet. Hey, hey, hey! Welcome to your one and only gateway to the skies, Fog Harbor Airport. How can I help you out today? I want to fly. Roger! So, just to get the paperwork out of the way, where did you want to go? I want to visit Harv's Island. Huh? Harv's Island? Where could... Oh, I know, you're talking about that island Harvey lives on. Roger that, good buddy. I can set it up right now, but are you ready? All packed and stuff? Yes, I am. Time for takeoff. All right, let's get you airborne. Dodo 1 to Dodo Tower. Wilbur, copy. We've got a walker who needs wings. Over. Roger, ready when you are. Okay, have a good flight, friend. And when you need to travel, just think, what would Dodos do? Let's down like window shopping in a in a pomade tin. We are parked and proud. Give a quack to wing back. Okay. Hello, Harv. Hey, it's you. You made it out to my island. Thanks for coming. Uh, Cedar? Whew. It sure is good to see you again, Cedar. Yes, sirree. Good old Cedar. Hey, Toast Yum. Welcome to Coffee Crossing. A place to chill out, relax, and enjoy your morning. Anyway, welcome to Harv's Island. Don't remember if I mentioned it before, but I run a photo studio here. It's called Photopia, because it's like a paradise for picture taking, and it's free to all. So come use it anytime. I'll do that. Wow, you've got lots of weeds, but you've also got a... Hey, he's making a pizza! And he's got his clothes out there on the line, and he's got... Let's see what he's got inside. So, you dig in the Phototopia vibe? Pretty groovy, right? It's like my home away from home, you know? Well, more like my home that is my home, really. But hey, since you're here, let's capture the moment on film, huh? 
And if you've got any questions about the studio, I'm all ears. Well, mostly ears. Some nose, too. Uh, maybe later, man. I hear you. No need to rush into anything. My mistakes are here to be learned from. Use my pad whenever. If you're all set, I'm gonna go freshen up my air. Come grab me outside if you need anything. Well, this is the photo studio. It's basically a house just like we can build for ourselves. You can change the wallpapers and everything you want. If we had gotten here last month, back here, is used for the entire month of June for wedding photos for two people we probably will meet after we finally get KK. We will be getting this room soon. The one on this side. Then, all that will be left is the upstairs, which most people turn into a bedroom. Because it is just as large as the downstairs usually. Ooh, nice. He's got grass on the floor. Perfect for playing sports ball. And downstairs. Which actually really kind of looks like a basement. Well, that's all there is on the island currently. Train wreck, tart, uh, tart titan. Uh, in... It is reporting Tango Tennis to go. You require assistance? Over. I'm ready to go home. You want to bust bus... You want to bust bunion or bunce... Bust Bunsen burners and bounce back to Orange Town. Yes, that's his nickname for the for our island because that's the fruit we had. Roger, let's pack snacks and make tracks. And away we go. I mostly just wanted to check um, Harv's Island to see if anything had changed. Doesn't look like anything has. At least not yet. Ooh. I think that's another tiger beetle. Ah, oh, man. I missed. it for me today it's a lot it's been a shorter stream today but we're getting closer to building out our house so let's go ahead and save
Then we'll head on back to the bar. Well, that was an interesting morning. We got to meet, we went out to Harv's Island. We got a brand new villager in Shino, a demon deer. And we're going to be make, and we're going, we're getting closer and closer to finally getting that, getting our final permanent resident in Isabel. Tom should be getting close to time. It, it's, it should be getting close to time for Tom to want to move out of that tent. Well, today's been a good day for me. And I hope you had an enjoyable time. So, also, as always, here's my friend code. Drop me an at. Drop me a line and... We can see about becoming friends, and I might actually come and visit your island, or you can come visit me. And come back for Saturday when we're going to be opening the island to everybody via uh, Dodo Code. Well, until next time, stay hydrated, and remember, always be you. See you tomorrow. Oh! Well, maybe we'll stick around a little bit longer. Welcome, Infinity Motion. And guess what? You're number 50! That's right. I now have 50 followers. Yay, me! Woo! <laughs> ah, one step closer to affiliate. Now the hard part. Is going to be averaging, is getting my uh, average viewers per stream hour up and running. Well, let's see who we can raid today. Hey, if you're interested in some more um, Animal Crossing, another friend of mine happens to be streaming right now. So let's go visit him, shall we? And until tomorrow... Always be you. Thank you.